So this problem, instead of making a frequency distribution, is making a cumulative frequency distribution. Um, this is data is of uh, tumor recover, uh, recurrence um, after chemotherapy. Uh, we already have a frequency distribution for it, as you can see. And to make the cumulative frequency distribution, we just have to add one more column called cumulative frequency. What the cumulative frequency is, is it says how many data values fall below the upper class boundary of each class. So for the 12.5 data um, boundary, you will notice that there are six data points that fall below 12.5. So therefore, the cumulative frequency here for the first class is 6. For the class boundary of 24.5, you will notice that there were the 6 we already had plus the 10 that we now have in that class. So the number of data points that fall below 24.5 is the 10 plus the 6, or 16. If you look through your data, you'll see that there are, in fact, 16 data values that are less than 24.5. The number of data values below 36.5 is the 16 we already had, plus 5 more, to give us 21. The number of data values below the 48.5 is the 21 we already had, plus the 13 that we gained in that class, which gives us 34. And the number of data points below the 60.5, which should be every data point, is the 34 plus the 8, or 42, which is in fact the size of the sample. And that's all there is to creating a relative frequency, I'm sorry, cumulative frequency distribution.